Hello everyone, this is Kiki, and welcome to the adventure of drawing Sonic 2 fan art. Um, I don't think I've really ever done Sonic fan art, to my memory, other than maybe random little doodles on backs of notebooks, and even those were few and far between, and then the one Sonic head pin that I did, like, a few months ago. Um, but... Yes, I have seen Sonic 2 twice, other than never really drawing Sonic. Sonic has always been a big part of my childhood. It was actually one of the very first games I ever played on my giant handheld Sega the brick that it was. I don't think I ever got past level 2, but I played it all the time. <laughs> but, no, I really love the movie. And just this idea, it was, it was living in my head, rent-free, and I needed to draw it. I knocked this picture out in about two hours. I probably could have spent more time on it and made it a little bit more refined. Uh, but it just, I, it needed to be done. I needed to see Knuckles enjoying his ice cream with sprinkles. It just, it had to happen. Because it's just, it's such a cute idea, and he was so excited, and it was just... <sighs> baby little baby he's getting his ice cream for the first time oh. um but yeah i i really love the movie and i i do really like how they did knuckles i i was really worried just because of what sonic boom did um because knuckles is actually smart and aware and sonic boom made him nothing more than meathead and it pisses me off but I think the movie did a good job of walking the line of the childish naivety of having been alone for so long mixed with the growing up warrior focused kind of thing that Knuckles is. Um, I think I think they found a pretty good balance between those two things and played it very well because he is very aware of what's going on but he does have that naivety that Robotnik is able to take advantage of which even in Sonic X does happen because you know it happens and Robotnik is Robotnik um <laughs> But I do think they handled it very well, and I think Idris Elba did a fantastic job at Knuckles. Do I think they could have made him a little less naive and still kept the story? Yes. But I do think they did a good job, because, like, you do have to remember, he is the same age as Sonic. He is still a kid. He's not an adult. Um... But, yeah, overall, I, I really love the movie, and I love how this drawing came out, even for as quick and slightly rushed as I did it. I was just like, I have to do it, I have to do it, I have to do it, I have to do it. Um, and I just kind of wanted to add the nods that, you know, he's got, he's got Sonic and Tails with him now, he's not all alone. Uh, but I just didn't feel like fully drawing them, that's why you only see a part of them. But yeah, I think it turned out really cute. Um, I don't think I've ever drawn ice cream before. But yeah, I like it. And I hope you like it, especially since I've not really ever drawn Knuckles before. So I think he turned out pretty okay. And I don't actually have too much else to say because I mean, the movie's still sort of kind of new, so I don't want to talk about it too much. Because I don't want to spoil anyone. But it was really good, and if you haven't seen it, you need to go see it. So, go see it. That's all I have to say.
The Happy Sparkles were a last second thought, and I really like how they turned out. I, I, I feel they fit very well into the mood. And that's it for this week's journey, and I hope you'll join me again for the next one. Till then, bye!